Hi everyone, welcome to Veronica Hug. Today I have a new looking project for you, so I hope you're gonna have fun with me. Stay tuned. I'll show you a winter hat and a brioche stitch. So for that I'm using the Grande wool. So this is 100 grams per each wool. It's 50 grams virgin wool and 50% acrylic. And we have a length of 60 meters per each spool. Today I will be using milking needles, so I got this as a gift. As you can see, it says Wooly Hugs on here, the name of my Facebook group and my wool series. There are many sizes to choose from, of course. This one is size 8. So let's get started. I'm doing 40 chains. and now we can close this into a round. Make sure you have no twists or knots going on. Go into the first chain you did and do a slip stitch. Now turn the chain slightly to find the spot where we go through and that's going to be our first stitch. Well, this is our first stitch, but the first one we start ourselves is here. So now we start each new stitch out of the each next chain that we see. You get this lovely edge this way. And now we pull. So you see that my leading yarn is double since the yarn I'm working with is pretty thick. I wanted to keep it about the same size. Also, I didn't really have anything as thick that has a contrasting color, so I just doubled the thickest I had. Before the round ends, we need to take care that there are no twists going on.
Now we start with knit and purl stitches, always one after the other. The contrasting yarn is a little bit too long, I'll cut it shorter now, but I actually always do this with nooking. I make these extra long because shortening is never an issue, but not having a long enough piece sometimes means that you have to start completely over. And we keep going. We end with a purl stitch. And our first round is done. With the knit stitches, I'll actually go one row below, so a bit deeper. And the purl stitch, I'll do as I do it always. That way we get a lovely effect in the end. So this first round kind of grows and we get a bigger stitch this way.
from here. We are at the beginning of our round, so we do a knit and purl stitch, and we keep changing those. So when I stretch this out a little bit, you can see the effect that we get, so it looks really like a real brioche stitch. So before we do that again, we of course need a base round with regular knit and purl stitches. And now we have the perfect length of contrasting yarn. So now we're ending the round, so we're again doing the deeper knit stitches and the purls as always. And you see how nicely this works. So you have to play with the length a little bit and then you can just keep shortening until you get it right. So as we work, we just keep pulling the contrasting thread too, so this is exactly what we want and what makes this very convenient and very fast to do. You can also check out my channel for more making ideas if you like this one. Of course, I'm also doing a lot of crocheting, a lot of knitting, and some Tunisian crocheting as well. So there's a lot of ideas, a lot of inspiration if you're interested.
So we have now officially finished the second round in our fake brioche pattern, so to speak. So now we will just keep working like this all the way until we get our desired height or the size of our hat. And then I'll see we can do two things so we can do reductions or also a really neat thing about doing half in the working style is just pulling the stitches together. So I have 20 centimeters since the beginning and let me count the rounds. Well, yep, that's 24 rounds in the brioche pattern and now all I have to do is one more purl stitch and then we will do the stitches all together so that you can see how you would do that on your own too. So go through two at a time and pull the yarn through and that's actually how we end. Okay, there we are. Now we'll cut the yarn short. And then I'll pull it through all of these stitches. So you can also do this with the nooking needle, but I prefer to do it this way. There we go. I'll weave it in a bit after I pull this tight and I'll push it to the inside so that it disappears. And you can see that we used just one spool and got the entire hat out of it. So as you can see, this is extremely easy to do and extremely fast as well. So thanks to my lovely needle, 
I was able to finish this project in a matter of minutes. So I hope you do enjoy it and I hope to see you in my next video. Until then, have a wonderful day. Bye!